I love how the format of my chosen profession accommodates a certain level of freedom and that if need be, I'm permitted to change my mind and or revise past public declarations. That's how I'm approaching World Gone Cold in resuming coverage of them. And I emphasize resuming given that some of you might have entertained the initial selection of tracks I chose to spotlight out of the seven track uh, EP collection. In total, it was three works with Opposites Attract, Burn, and Apology, I believe in that order. I'm remembering that correctly. You might remember, if you were somebody to entertain these works with me, you might remember again the way I left things was I had a very positive impression of the group on account of all free works. I knew going in I would be, given that this super group has so much familiarity to it in its talent level, with some new freshness on account of uh, frontman Ryland Rouse, who I can't wait to dig into further in regards to his musical connections, because he really impressed me as a lead vocalist. But the other four members all come from very noteworthy and familiarized talents to me over many years of music enjoyment within the Christian rock and metal scene. Again, like I said, I knew this would be an advantageous uh, talent to humor, and it was. The way I left it was I had a great impression of the group going in, I was going to only do three tracks again to be fair by comparison to other groups. And as far as I was concerned, doors always open to future developments. And yet, I did promise you at the time as well that it was my intention, given I'd bought the EP in advance in full, to go and listen to the remaining four works on my own. And I, in fact, started that. But you'll also note, if you're somebody that's kept up with me in regards to my usual music coverage on this channel, it's a frequent mantra I've offered, that shared experience I truly crave. It's not the same when I listen to works on my own, for the most part. I truly love the experience of sharing in high caliber work with other fans, or prospective fans, to be fair. So with World Gone Cold, again, the way I left things, door was always open with the promise I was going to go listen to the remainder of the album, and I intended to do that on my way home the other day, and I thought at you know, moments notice, hey, I like that World Gone Cold band for the first three tracks I heard, why don't I go and listen to the remaining EP? And I initiated with it, pulled it up, and to be fair, what we're about to, the track we're about to listen to is not entirely fresh, given I heard the first two seconds. So my response is somewhat informed, very minusculely, but just to be honest, it was just the first two seconds that I immediately went, okay, we're going to stop this right now and, and cover the remainder of the tracks on here. It's only four more, but I would love to have a shared experience of you, perhaps, if possible. I did consider whether or not to make World Gone Cold an exception in the beginning and do a full album coverage, or full EP. I don't do it that often. I feel that they deserve it. Again, I was quite elated by what I heard initially from uh, the first three works. In the first couple seconds of Left to Save, what the work we're about to listen to specifically, it's a hard number in terms of energy. And I'm definitely more on the thrash metal side, so I'm like, yes, let's enjoy this together, perhaps. And maybe set you up with an opportunity to engage with what I am assuming will be a favored talent to you. Maybe you haven't listened to World Gun Cold before, maybe you've heard the name, or maybe you have. In that case, you're getting the perspective of somebody, again, who's a first-time listener. But for some of you, I would imagine you're going to be approaching this on a fresh lens. I sense this is a Christian metal group that's going to be going places in the future. 100%. I think the first three tracks were a testament, and I would imagine the remaining four, which will be spotlighting in their own uh, videos, I would imagine they're going to follow suit. So, left to save. There we go. Like I said, it's this opener. Such a hard entry for, er, entry for the EP. And Violent is a very gifted and versatile artist. This is what it takes to keep it all and he continues to impress. Structure-wise, on sound? This one might be my favorite. I think so.
And the rough basis, of course, is absolutely engaging, but... It's Rylan that's taking center stage here. Yeah, he's all over the place on his pitch. I just... It's really neat to hear him. I swear this group is, as I said, they have a future. <laughs> and they certainly deserve their fan base, and I'm honored to be a member of that. Because this is exquisite. Even the screams are varied. <laughs> wow. In terms of personality, <laughs> you know, I said before when I initiated with coverage, starting with Opposites Attract, it amazed me that certain groups, you'll see when there's an emergence, there might be a sense of identity that's very distinctive and clear in the orig or origin stage that continues over, you know, their uh, next few years or however long they're around. Well, they might try and experiment around with different types of traits and see where their vision can be expanded. There's that central vision. Other groups, um, you maybe perhaps take some time to find their identity. I would say this is definitely the closest in case to a former, but as a new group, it amazed me how quickly it seemed that everybody gelled together. Right? You've got, again, with exception to Ryland, who I think is great, and again, I'm saying with exception because I have not listened to Inhale, Exhale, Attack, Attack, or Dark Island. I can't best judge his talents in other circles, but I can certainly speak, you know, in, with all credit in the world and what I'm witnessing here, and I'll get to him in a minute, specifically. But the other four musicians all come from, again, as I said, very noteworthy Christian rock and metal groups that have been around, in some cases, for many years, decades even. So, everybody's astute at their creative level. But in the experience of collaboration, you might there might be some time taken to best flesh out that meshing in a way that it truly feels unanimous and unique. It amazed me, again, like I said, how, how quickly this group seemed to materialize the central vision in, uh, in feeling. Because I don't know I oftentimes see that. In some cases I do, especially in the supergroup territory. It just really impressed me. And I'm still sitting here four tracks later. I'm still in a state of shock. But the type of music that I listen to, this immediately gels with me on taste. And in creative expression, I do prefer works that have a more originalist articulation and spirit to them. This song flows very well in connection to the other works. On intensity, energy level, even on narrative, it has a kind of a writing structure. And it does, in fact, mimic, and I can't place groups at the minute that this sounds like to me. It, this is specific on part of not only the sound, but Ryland's vocal palette. Especially on the, on the versatile, clean vocal side, or the scream specifically, with his different tonalities. There are groups that are coming to mind from whatever 
you know, time in my life it's been that I've entertained other artists that sound almost exactly like him, and yet this feels so distinctive and fresh. The mixture of elements is perfect. It really is a fresh metal song, and I love that type of feeling. It's just the vocals that take me away completely. And again, I, I can't speak from a position of familiarity of Ryland other than what I've entertained thus far in World Gone Cold's creations. But the versatility that he expresses on his vocal levels, whether it be on the clean side, or in that might be in pitch, it might be in speed, it might be in force. Again, this impression I had earlier on with, you know, he's got a broad range, and he's qu quite an enjoyment to entertain and listen to. This piece just jumps leaps and bounds, in my opinion, apart from what I just heard. You know, I've said before, there's a case to be made of positive, because I know the phrase is oftentimes spoken of in the negative, but there's a positive subversion of expectations. 100% with this group, but I'm glad that I decided to revise my decision. You know, something told me, again, when I, when I started with those first two seconds on that entry, I'm like, I'm going to like this, and I did. You know, I'm still processing it, <laughs> if you can't tell. <laughs> um... Wow. I'm very impressed. You know, I've been looking forward to entertaining more Christian metal groups, especially on the emergent territory, and World Gone Cold truly has a future. And I'm honored to be a fan of theirs, and to perhaps share in the experience of you, and, if possible, maybe provide paths for you to explore new talents that you haven't, you've been looking to hear at some point, but you haven't necessarily known where to look to find them. I hope World Gone Cold fits your desires in that respect, because it certainly does for me. And you might be approaching from different taste levels. Some of you might just prefer the Christian attribution and be like, you know, hey, that's enough you know, testament there for me to inquire. Some of you might prefer, you know, Christian rock, or maybe some of you are, you know, open to all types of rock styles, respective to faith-based or not. I would imagine that most of us are looking at this project with, uh, or in this particular piece of very admirable eyes. I certainly am. And I'd love to hear your perspective on that down below if you do wish to disclose your perspective of your, as well as your angle. Long time fan of World Gone Cold, at least in the time that they've been around, or um, fresh emergent presence. Or maybe you've entertained a selection of works, even very recently, perhaps with me. What are your thoughts on this piece? I'd love to hear about it and see if there is any uh, cohesion. A, a, amongst us, because for me, in, in opinion, I, you know, I don't like to rank things, I've said that many times, because I don't want to be unfair in providing a disadvantage to other tracks and pieces of art that I found quite exemplary, but I'm definitely leaning toward this being my favorite song, namely with the vocal structuring. Yes, it has that rump emphasis on part of the percussion work, the bass, wonderful riff structures. It's very engaging in that respect, again, if you're into fresh, aggressive metal with that type of hectic energy, but on vocals. That just really captivated my interest. And again, I said before, my impression of Ryland was he's had, he's a very versatile vocal palette, and yet, <laughs> and as this is the intro to the EP, I think to set a basis, it's a great interlude. Right, because now, after this, you're being followed up with, uh, I believe, yes, Opposites Attract and Burn in that order. This is the way you initiate your first impression, perhaps, with some prospective listeners. And I think that's a great track to get the album running on. But especially, as I was saying with the vocals, i got to look into Ryland at a deeper level, because I think of the range of artists I listen to, and his voice is becoming signature in my mind. And I can't wait to hear more of it employed here in terms of talent, but that impressed me. You think you know a group, and then you entertain them in a, in a deeper manner, and they just continue to surprise you. Maybe that'll be the case going forward if World Gone Cold, but I'm glad I decided to go back and finish covering and spotlight the entire EP with you. It wouldn't be the same as listening to these tracks on my own. To share in the experience, especially on a piece that is so capable is a rewarding experience. I look forward to perhaps that being the story of the remainder of the EP, because Left to Save is truly dynamic in every respect.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.